Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts. How you doing? I am in my craft room. I'm about to tear it apart. I hate this space. I'm very grateful that I have a space to work in, but I just, I'm not comfortable in it. And I end up in the living room all the time, sitting in a chair, curled up with my little basket of stuff next to me. God's like, oh my God, your crafts are oozing all over the house. You need to like work in your craft room. You have a room, go use it. When we first moved in, you may remember I had everything in front of the window. I had these tables um, in front of the window. Two of them fit perfectly. It was great, but there's no storage. And then because of the legs, there's like legs everywhere. And then the desk chair doesn't fit right. And there's no storage. Now this, the beast, I like to call it, is all this storage. It's amazing, but uh, I'm just not happy with it. And this is is always a disaster. So this was, my, <laughs> this was my plan yesterday was that I'm not gonna, I'll just leave the day bed there because I do like that there. And so I went into Ikea and then Scott came home from work and he looked over my shoulder and he's like, turn that off. He's like, you're not buying more furniture, Tanya. But I went on to Pinterest to see like, how do other people use this desk? And this is what I found. So it's this desk with matching bookshelves to go on either side. And I love that because all these books up top, these are all sketchbooks, art books, reference books, all that. And I love my books, but it's just very overwhelming. So I'm thinking if I have the shelves on either side, I can move all my books, my journaling stuff, my books that I want to use for journaling, the papers I want to use for journaling, that can all be on one of the bookshelves. My tarot cards and stuff, those could go on the other bookshelf with all my, I'm hoping these things fit, the containers with all my memory stuff because they live in there until I get them in a journal. The plan is to empty this closet, have all my crafts on this desk and these two shelves and then this will be my clothing closet because right now the way our closet's set up, it's so stupid. It's, it's like this, but like my closet's here, his is here, but mine extends past this space, but you can't get into it. So Scott's shirts are all squished in there. Now he does use a lot of space in his closet for his suits because they're all just and they're all spread out and nothing touches. He doesn't have an entire bureau for his clothes and he only wears the same five t-shirt thinking he could then use the closet. That back space that we can't get to could be more of storage stuff and then the bottom could be cleared up and we could keep our suitcases in there so that whenever we go away, we don't have to keep going back to storage, um, which is like, 20 minutes away, we don't have to go and get our suitcases out of there. They could just live in our closet. This is this is good. I think this would be good with all my clothes in here. So yeah, so I think it's gonna be a good thing. He is at work right now. It is 25 after nine and tonight we are going, oh my God, I'm so friggin' excited. We're going to the Pink concert. Oh my God, we were supposed to go last year and she got sick and had to cancel. So she rescheduled. And we're going tonight. Oh my God, I'm so, so excited. So I ordered those shelves yesterday um, from Ikea. They're coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and get as much stuff done today as I can. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll check in with you in a little bit. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, I was able to push the desk. I took all the heavy books off the top, but I was able to push it. So that saved me a lot of work. So now I just gotta make sure this space is okay. So I'm leaving the closet door open um, so that I know I can open it once the shelf is there. The other one will go over here. So it's gonna come to about here. So there's not much room to pull with the bed. So this would just have to move um, in front of the closet or something. Uh, or in front of this one, I guess, um, if the girls were to come over. Okay, <laughs> I've made a mess, but I cleared this side of the closet. He's got suits in here too. Oh. Mm. All right, our HelloFresh just arrived. 
five meals in a box. So convenient. Not sponsored. I'm trying to get all our life organized, bringing the meals back in with HelloFresh so that we eat healthier, lose some weight, and you watch, I'll get, oh my God, come in closet. You watch, I'll get this all done. And then Scott will come home one of these days and say, we're moving. Okay, all right, get my pants hanging up. Okay, now I'm just trying to clear off shelves so I can fold sweaters. Okay, bye. All right, I got my clothes in here. I have my sweaters on the shelves. Dresses are over here. These are all my tops and these are all my bottoms. You can actually fit a ton of stuff on these. But this is what I'm talking about with the closet. See, you can't, you can see where Scott's tried to grab a sh Oh, there's my sweatshirts. You can see where Scott's tried to grab a shirt and then can't get it. So, yeah, quick time. <laughs> it's gonna be a really quick break because I've trashed the place. All right, so I pulled all his clothes out of the space back there. So now at least he can see how many things he owns. He doesn't wear any of it. All right, it is 10 after 12. I have like three hours <laughs> until roughly when Scott comes home. Um, so the other closet is done. I'm just gonna finish up this. Um, I have my record player up here and I have all my albums, so I might just leave that shelf as is. And yeah, now I just have to work on this desk and figure out where things are gonna go. Ikea showed up. I've got one box up here so far. <laughs> fan on in the bathroom. Um, there we go. I got to put it together in the bathroom because there's no space to work. But look at, I want to show you my shirt. We went to the pink concert last night. I'm so excited. So excited. Ah. It was awesome. She like flew through the air. Oh, I was crying at the end. I was like so excited. Um, okay, so I, <laughs> I'm gonna go change this shirt because I don't want to get it all messy and uh, I'm gonna start putting this together. I'm just bringing one up at a time. So I'll get working on this one and I'll show you what it looks like when they're in place. Well, that took <laughs> almost two hours, but I've got one shelf built and I have books on it. And then the other shelf is gonna house all my journal stuff. I have my golden book journals on there right now, um, but they'll probably go on the other one and then that'll just be all my working on stuff. And then this is all gonna be sketchbooks and art books and just novels. And then I, I might have this room back together before I go back to work tomorrow. Okay, okay, all right, I'll be back. Okay, I have my poster out, but now I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Oops, you okay? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I cleared up the closet and brought out the stuff. Um, 
I have my books and my art books and my sketchbooks and everything. And then I have my tarot cards and I'm just still working on this section over here. Now the problem is I have all these bins, but I could clear those up because they're just memory things. So like my Calgary bin, I just have to finish my Calgary journal and then that bin will be empty and done and gone. Um, and so on and so on. But <laughs> why did I move all my clothes in here? <laughs> Because I was trying to clear up some room and so that Scott's clothes weren't all squished. But the man just has to go through those clothes. He doesn't wear those clothes. <laughs> so what I can do is put mine back in the closet because yesterday and today I get out of the shower and I'm like, where the hell are my clothes? <laughs> and then I have to make a separate trip in here. Oh my God. I think what I'm going to do is put my clothes back in my closet, take his extra stuff, put it in here, and then he just needs to go through it and get rid of um, what he doesn't need. Because there aren't any clothes on the bottom section, it's just suitcases, so I can bring the suitcases in here and just have my closet back. <laughs> Why did I move my clothes? Anyway, it's fine. I went through all my clothes <laughs> in a really chaotic, long roundabout way but yeah I'll just move his extra stuff in here and then when I go to get dressed in the morning my stuff is in my room <laughs> all I had to do was buy two shelves and take the stuff out of the closet and put it on the shelves why did I spend two days <laughs> in this room okay all right well now I'm tired and frustrated <laughs> oh my god it's not easy being me it really isn't hi <laughs> my craft room's still a disaster but i wanted to show you this is that pretty i got that in hawaii it's the sound of the first night we arrived because where am i gonna put it <laughs> because there was a chandelier in the entrance of, in the lobby of the hotel and it was like jingling and I thought it was so pretty. And then the night before, or the day we left, it was gone. They took it down, they're replacing it. But um, yeah, I bought one of those for the kids too so they could have it. Um, I just came to put some sand in Millie's little litter box. I don't think she's awake yet. No her cage and there's her little there's her little litter box this little it's like a cookie jar <laughs> it's just fiddly stuff here on the floor fiddly stuff in front of the closet um yeah it could be done in about 20 minutes and i just keep putting it off so i'm just gonna put sand in millie's cage and i'm gonna go to bed all right then someone wanted to say hello oh my Oh my gracious. She's so cute. Look how shiny she is. She's so shiny. Oh. I say hi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? So nice. Hey. Oh, I gotta give her belly a kiss. I gotta give her belly a kiss. <laughs> Say good night. Okay, good night. Mm. Ah, you're so cute. Wanna go back in your home? Can you get oh my god <laughs> it's time for bed
It's a week later and I still have a mess on my hands. Okay, just drove Scott to work. Um, I am going out in an hour and a half to therapy. <laughs> therapy is a good thing. It took me a while to admit that I needed it, but I need therapy, so, and that's okay. And if you need therapy, go get therapy because there's nothing wrong with it. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go pick up Kerrigan and we're going to get groceries. And then uh, yeah, then I'm going to take the car to the city, drop it off. Scott will have that. Him and Br oh, here's the water bottle I was looking for this morning. Um, and then uh, Scott's going to get Bryn at work. Okay, this is it. This is it. Power hour. So I'm going to deal with that stuff. I have things on the floor. I'm still trying to tweak what's going on over here on my desk. I have these containers that I got at Daiso, and I just don't know uh, what to do with those. And the annoying thing is, can I get two across here? Oh, this, I don't know if this is a waste. I have a drawer with my sewing kit in. Is that a waste? It seems like it's a waste of a drawer. Um, okay, let's see where I end up. So it is 10 after nine. I'll be back to see you at 10 after 10. Okay, bye. The world needs to be cordless. I hate cords everywhere. Cords, everything has to be plugged in. There's only two outlets. <gasps> I'm almost done. It's just, I got so hot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Move this pile over here and move this pile back over here. Now, I gotta go back under the desk to plug it in. I have a bunch of these that I got at the dollar store, these little Velcro things. I think I need these to keep me sane. Losing it. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. I can... Ooh, I'm a white walker. <gasps> My phone's broken. Okay. Uh, gonna go. I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. All right. It is... I took my watch off. <laughs> what time is it? Five? Um, it is five o'clock. Holy crap. So Scott just got home from work and um, <laughs> I kind of put a lot of things in the hallway. So that's why the room looks better now. But no, it's, um, I'm getting there. And I even brought up, this is the disaster that sits next to my chair downstairs. And he's like, oh good. He's like, can you commit to using this room? And can you commit to, if you do want to do something downstairs, just one craft at a time don't bring all the things so yes i agree to that um so yeah i'm i'm happy i just have my kneeling stool with a couple things on it i have this is like my tripod stuff that i've just got to put back in the bag um and then that's my meditation pillows uh so i just have to put that somewhere oh and then here on my desk i just have these few things, and then that's it. Oh, I'll show you the hallway. I did this, which I thought was smart. It's my um, my backdrops. I just use a pants hanger and did that. So <laughs> this stuff just said, that's trash. And this, is, this stuff just has to go down in the pantry. And those, I won. <laughs> we went out. Um, for work for a staff party before our summer break. There was a claw machine <laughs> that we were all playing 
and trying to win these things. <laughs> so I won this burrito or whatever the heck it is and a hamburger, but every time you lost, you won a ball. So you were guaranteed a win. So I played quite a few times. Um, anyway, it was such a fun night. It's a place called The Rec Room uh, here in Burnaby. And unfortunately I went on a ride at the very end. It's not a ride, it was like a video game thing, but it was like a 3D, uh, you thought you were on a roller coaster, VR glasses. Ugh. It was, oh my God, I was so sick. I did not know how I was gonna get home. Oh my God, it was so bad. And I had had offered people drives because I had the car. Oh my God, so I had to drive everybody home. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. So I'm just gonna go through and um, finish tidying this up. And you have to see this. Okay, I bought stickers. It's the cutest thing. This is from one of my students. It has a T for Tanya on it. And she, she got me this for my birthday because um, I told her that I used to have sticker books when I was young and I got, I got rid of my sticker book when I was young and I regret that so much. Um, but anyway, she made me a sticker book. Tanya is special. And then she knows that she gave me that one one day. And then she knows I like Mickey. Winnie the Pooh. Tigger, she knows I like Disney. What are those guys? Oh, that's Looney Tunes. <laughs> Scarecrow, this is my fall section. And then dogs. She gives me dog things because she knows we can't have a dog because of Scott's allergies. And then this is an Easter page. And then, what's this one? Oh, this is seasonal. There's like a Santa and a bunny. How cute. And then she printed me out some coloring pages. Care Bears, because I told her I never had a Care Bear and I wanted one. She colored some of the things. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. Oh my god. I didn't notice that. Hang on. She labeled what color they should be. Oh my god. She's so sweet. Such a sweet person. Adorable. So I bought some stickers to put in my sticker book to show her that I'm using my sticker book. So I found these the other day in a dollar store. Anywho, I just have to go deal with this fiddly stuff. I have this yellow golf ball. I wonder if this is from mini golf in Florida. No, because it would have said, it would show Disney on it. Anyway, it's very similar to um, this golf ball, I don't know if I ever told you, this is, um, this is a night flyer because I was playing night golf one time. Uh, it was actually, uh, April 27th, um, at 11 minutes after 10 at night. <laughs> Goodbye. I did it guys. I finally got it back together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So. Oh my god. It feels so nice in here now. Oh, I can actually see the floor. <laughs> Wait for my little wind chime to start blowing around. It's a beautiful fall day. I guess it's not technically fall yet. But it's just nice in this space. So I think I'm going to. Maybe close my eyes and have a well-deserved nap. Um, and then I'm going to create some stuff. All right. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope everyone is safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right. Take care, guys. See ya.